Hey, what's up guys? This is Tim Rushi from In The Gym Hoops. And right now I'm on my way to session three, the EYBL in Atlanta. So right now I'm just a little over an hour uh, out of Chicago, out of the Chicago suburbs rather, an hour and a half actually. So I uh, just passed Crown Point, Indiana. Uh, I didn't really want to sort of video any of the stuff that I was doing earlier when driving because uh, there's a lot of traffic early on in the morning and right now actually it is just about nine o'clock eastern eight o'clock central uh, so I was up nice and early as you guys saw um, I know you probably couldn't see the time of the clock but I made sure to set my alarm for around 5 15 this morning I was out the door at 6 30 and right now we're making good progress the drive is just over a little over 10 uh, 10 hours about and then I also lose an hour or two because of the eastern time so I'm supposed to be getting there around 6 o'clock and the session starts at 6 30 so hopefully we'll make it so I just came back from Taco Bell spent 428 on breakfast and then another 106 on this iced coffee here. We are outside a speedway right now. And yeah, we are about to save that money as Lil Dicky says. So I'll uh, keep track of all my expenses during this trip. Hey guys, so just an update right now. I am about a little over an hour removed from Indianapolis. Uh, making good time right now. I'm on track to get there just before 6.30, so we'll see what happens. Uh, but anyway, actually, I'm close to New Albany, Indiana. Shout out Romeo Langford. Anyway, too, uh, I'm sure if you can see from the lighting outside here, I've hit some clouds here. It looks kind of bad. And just a little pro tip for all you uh, it's aspiring uh, filmmakers out there, or just uh, anybody who wants to vlog or do anything with a camera, make sure to always change your white balance as lighting around you changes. So even outside, too, uh, although it may be sunny, sometimes it get really cloudy like this, so you change it then. And when I was at that Taco Bell, too, I also changed it in the shade. So make sure to always change that white balance and adjust accordingly. So yeah, recently on this channel, In The Gym Hoops 2.0, I recently put up a video highlighting the Session 2 highlights from the Nike EYBL when they were in Indy. And I got to interview a couple players, even Coach Hardaway from Team Penny, and they gave their insight to the season so far, and you got to learn a little more about them. So uh, definitely check that out. Well, uh, since I got some time here, we'll try to break it down here. Uh, so one of the opening ones with Coach Penny, I really wanted to focus on uh, the team, the difference between this year and last year, because last year's team, they were in the final four of Peach Jam, and this year they haven't done nearly as well, but uh, they definitely are a well-coached group, and they've got a couple, uh, yeah, a couple players returning from last year's team, so definitely they are a team to look out for in this EYBL. And then next, I put in Tyler Hero's uh, soundbite. I sort of wanted to go different with that. He sort of talks about Jordan McKay because the big thing with me when I first learned about uh, Tyler Hero was through Jordan McKay. I was always told to follow Jordan McKay uh, when he was a freshman, so three years ago now, just about. <laughs> and there was always this guy on this team that was pretty good, but he never really was you know, the better of the two. Like, he was always the second fiddle, if you will, to Jordan McCabe. And seeing Tyler Hero, especially last year, break out and become that star player who's actually ranked higher than Jordan McCabe now. Uh, Tyler Hero actually has the potential, I think personally, to be a McDonald's All-American. It's kind of a stretch right now, but if the UIBL from last year has proven anything, it can definitely improve a player's ranking greatly. Uh, you look at Jaron Jackson Jr., before the year, he wasn't really in like the ESPN top 60 sort of kind of. Then the school year started, he got to the top 25 area, and then by the time the school year ended, 
he got all the way up to the top 10. You look at Colin Sexton, the big story with him. He goes all the way from unranked to ranked, and he finishes in the top 10 also. And, and then next, I put in Taylor Horton Tucker. Uh, I apologize on that one, Taylor. I sort of didn't really get that many highlights of you there. That's on my bad. The only highlight I really put of him in there was him just getting an assist. Um, but anyway, I just personally decided to throw in all those other highlights of the different players. But yeah, I thought he was really great. The Mac Irvin kids are always fun on camera and stuff. They love the camera. They love giving shout outs. To and then lastly, I have Trey Jones interviewed. Trey is conceded as a top prospect, but you look at his brother Tyus, I'm not really sure the trajectory of his path or how he started out, but he finished out a top five recruit at ESPN's uh, top 100 his senior year right now. Like I mentioned he was in the top 60, so once the top 100 rankings come out for the 2018 class, it'd be interesting to see where Trey Jones is ranked. You look at the pedigree of him and just uh, the whole family name, you know, the Jones last name, and then just seeing his brother Ty at all the games. In fact, in the video, I make sure to ask him about it, but his brother's at all his games, and Coach K is at all his games, uh, at the one in Indy. Trey is just a great playmaker, I think, for everybody around him. Uh, I guess he could be seen as the best player on his team. He's not, he doesn't really, like, jump out of, jump out of the gym, athletic, uh, athleticism, you know, but not like some of the other players on his team, but he just gets the job done, you know, and he's really a good point guard. He scores when he needs to score. He facilitates the game for the most part, and he's really great at dishing out the rock to his teammates. Alright, well, uh, so for this purchase, I just got some gas here at uh, Speedway. Uh, I didn't really ring up on the receipt, but I did earn 40 points. And I actually got a coupon for a free drink at my next visit, so definitely got to keep that bad boy. Uh, but yeah, in this one, I bought another iced coffee. Here we can see. And then I got $27 worth of gas. So that total brings me to $28.06. We are now into Kentucky and we are actually just about to cross the border into Tennessee. So we're making all right time. I'm probably going to miss the tip off of the first games. Also, uh, I just stopped at Subway real quick to get a little six inch sub snack, if you will. Uh, I ended up spending $5.04 on it. So again, still trying to save that money. Get there, 
and uh, I just hope you know I'll be able to make the second round of games, and if not, for sure I'll get the third round. But uh, making progress. Well, I uh, finally made it here in uh, one piece. Uh, like I said, missed the first set of games just about, but uh, made it in time for the second and definitely the third. So uh, we'll see what happens. Hey, what's up guys? We just finished day one of session three of the EYBL here in Atlanta. And like I said, we're trying to save that money. Um, I kind of got fast food again. That's not really the best choice. But uh, I ended up getting stuff for four sixty three at Arby's. Um, and then we're going to try to get some breakfast right now from Walmart. So that way I don't need to go get some more uh, Taco Bell breakfast or anything like that. Uh, you know, try to save, save even, even more money. So it is now. Look at that. I uh, can't believe it, but I uh, survived a night. Uh, I only really slept for about two hours, but uh, now I'm able just to go over to the parking lot, really, where the UIBL is at now, and I can just sleep there till it starts for a couple hours. Honestly, I drove around for about two hours. Um, I'm not really familiar with this Atlanta area. It's definitely the suburbs, I would say, up north here. Um, just trying to find a spot, you know, I read up online, shout out to Hobo Alley, I believe her name is. She um, was someone definitely I studied up on in depth in terms of how to go about this because I wanted to save money. But yeah, it wasn't really the most comfortable, you know, but uh, that's just part of this part, um, the whole AAU part. That's the players are grinding then and also so are we as videographers, as video producers because... Uh, they just keep keep playing all these games back to back to back and then that's on us to make these videos uh, non-stop because it normally takes about oh maybe four or five weeks with a couple with several games needed you can get done within one weekend for the most part um, with the star players that is uh, so yeah I'm just back at Walmart uh, I can start adding up the totals from when I went earlier and then I'll go again now uh, I need to get some more clips for the sheets to keep those in place and then I need another one because the one that I bought earlier was really thin and I just need to buy another one to stick over it so then I have a little bit of coverage. Alright, well uh, I got my groceries, I got some uh, milk here and then some pop tarts, pop tarts two dollars, I was just under two dollars in milk. Uh, we had seven sixteen spent in the first trip when I had the pop tarts and then I got the sheet that I have uh, hanging up you can sort of see and then I got another one right now and this total came out to be 1238 1238 um, and so yeah we are still running or balling on a budget rather I don't know if you can see it there it is there it is Got a stray running around in the ATL. Tony Montana and Bruno got bummed with the blammer. I freed all the guys out the slammer. This is my little setup in here. It's not really the greatest, but you know what? It's all about trying to stay. Hidden, I guess you know, and it does the job. And right now, I'm just gonna be able to sleep for a uh, couple hours, and then get ready for 
the second day for session three of the EYBL. It's going to be a good one.